While many elementary schools will be able to bring their students back for in-person learning starting Tuesday, one Rochester elementary school has had their kids in the classroom full time all year. On top of that, they've only had one case of COVID-19 in the school, and that was in October. The Rochester Arts and Science Academy, or RASA, is pre-K through fifth grade and has about 110 students in the building. The students are screened each day when coming in the door for temperature and are required to keep masks on all day. We spoke with Principal Nick Doyle, who says that the parents of the school came together and knew they had to come to, together to allow in-person learning to happen. We've been very fortunate. We've, we've, we've come together as a community um, and really you know, did our best. We've had the, the priority of, of in-person learning. Um, our teachers would prefer in-person learning. Our families are, majority of them are looking for in-person learning as well. They, you know, we've, everybody's taken a little, some extra precautions. Um, our communities really work together to, um, you know, to stay with that in-person learning because we know how valuable it is. Meanwhile, parents and even students say they're glad the children have been able to attend in-person classes. They say it allows for social interaction and keeps a sense of normalcy coming to school. Being able to be in person and have the social interaction has been critical. I think with sports not happening, without being able to go to the children's museum or go to a restaurant or even go to the store, this is really the only social interaction that our kids are able to get. And I think as our community has really tried to limit our outside interactions, that really reinforces that coming here, being able to see other kids, play, do things that go beyond just the academic elements has really enhanced the year that's been so hard already. I'm happy to be learning in person. My favorite part of coming to school is learning. Gus went on to tell us that he's glad to see his friends every day and that having to wear a mask hasn't bothered him.